How good is CT over x-ray? Well, there is some literature on this in this nice article from AJNR in 2005. They had retrospectively looked at their patients with lumbar facet blocks. In 98 patients, they did 129 facet blocks. 58 of them were done under CT guidance, and 71 were done using fluoroscopy. So the pre-procedure score, that is the visual analog score for pain, was not different between these two groups, but the post-procedure pain score of the CT group was significantly lower than the fluoro group. Big surprise. Under CT, we can get into that nerve, we can get into that uh, facet very easily, which is often dip very difficult under fluoroscopic guidance. So these osteophytes that prevent uh, a needle from going in can be managed uh, under CT guidance. You can put a needle in between two osteophytes and, and enter the facet, as you see here, with some contrast. In addition, the, this patient's also having a nerve block. Or we can place our needles just at the junction between the transverse process and the superior articulating facet. This little uh, crevice is where the medial branch of that nerve will come out of the intervertebral frame and coursing over the transverse process towards the facet. So this is where you would do a medial branch block or where you would place your needle for an RFA. And this is the, the setup. You can do about three to four of these RFAs in one sitting on one side and then move to the other side. So this is a, a technique that uh, gives you about six to eight months of pain-free facet uh, for facet arthropathy if you are a patient who has responded initially to facet blocks. So we usually like to see a reduction of 50% of the pain uh, threshold after a uh, facet block, and then they're a candidate for RFA. So here's one of our wonderful fellows who's placing uh, needles, and you can kind of see that, that this can look a little bit like a pin cushion. They have, we have needles in every facet from, uh, it looks like there's about a four level facet block, and we're getting ready to do an RFA, and it, you, this patient, it kind of looks like this, but you've got to be kidding, your back still hurts. It's a little bit like that sometimes, where you have multiple needles in, and it's a little hard to manage these, uh, but um, the patients usually do very nicely afterwards. How do they do after uh, injections? Well, half the patients in this one 2006 article had long-term benefit and avoided surgical intervention at an average follow-up of 9.9 .9 months.